Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Governor, um, I've already gotten text messages from people who are concerned and hearing that, that this is just what Biden wants. He wants something to trigger something that will end up, you know, ending up in some type of violence involving states versus the federal government. Are you concerned about that, given how this is changing? I'm not concerned, uh, Laura. The biggest mistake the Biden administration could make would be confronting law enforcement or our military, our National Guard, at our border, at this park, when we're actually doing the job that the American people want. So if they come down and create a situation, all of America already knows now, they will clearly see that the Democrats are willing to take on a state that is operating under the, our constitutional right to protect our people and protect this country. I don't think even Biden will make that mistake. We're not looking for a confrontation. We're looking for them to do their damn job and protect the lives of Texans and Americans and protect the borders in this country. And for every person that's died of a fentanyl overdose, for every person that's been murdered by MS-13, for every law enforcement officer who's been killed in the line of duty because these people have crossed the border, that death is on the hands of Joe Biden and this administration and his policies on the border. They should not come and confront us. They should just let us do our job. Do you welcome National Guard members from other states? Are you encouraging them to come join you? And if so, for what purpose? So, Laura, we've had cooperation from other states. We've had National Guard from other states. And Texas will take all the help we can get. It shows a unified America. It shows a unified group of Republican governors who want to protect this country. But it has to be organized. It's got to... You know, we, we, we don't want to have thousands of people show up tomorrow. We want to work with their departments, their National Guard. But in terms of asking for help, we're glad to have the backing of these brave, bold governors and lieutenant governors and senators in the Republican Party around this country who realize they're willing to come to the aid of Texas because they know we're holding the line. Would it, would it take the form of... of perhaps confronting Border Patrol who are trying to get into certain areas? Would it, would it be putting up uh, more of that uh, razor wire or other types of obstructions at the border? What exactly would they be doing? Uh, you're talking in terms of the National Guard? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yes, well, the we have Guard. lots of jobs on the border for people to do. We're busy at work every day. Remember, our border... Uh, Laura, for folks who don't know, is longer than the distance between Atlanta and Portland, Maine. It's 1,250-some miles. And so we need people everywhere. But let me tell you what. We're doing the job. If Joe Biden will get out of our way, we'll do the job. We'll secure the border. We don't need them. And, and also, let me say something about this Border Patrol. Border Patrol works with us, the rank and file, every day. We work together like this. It's Joe Biden that wants to come in and split us apart. He wants this con for what reason? We're doing the job at the state park. They have no reason to be there. They've got 1,200 miles to cover. We're doing the job. They're, try they're trying to make this a fight. We're trying to protect our border. We're trying to protect American lives and Texas lives. That's what we're trying to do. And he's trying to turn into a political battle and turn it into a fight with our state. Well, don't mess with Texas. Um, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, thank you, as always. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.